Brought to you by wikivd.com Magnus, wrestler Nicholas Aldous is an English professional wrestler. He is best known for working under the ring name Magnus. Aldous is a former one-time GFW Global Champion, one-time TNA World Heavyweight Champion, two-time TNA World Tag Team Champion, one-time IWGP Tag Team Champion and one-time GHC Tag Team Champion. Aldous also appeared on the United Kingdom revival of Gladiators where he was known by the name Oblivion. Aldous working under his real name was also a co-presenter of Britain's Strongest Man on Challenge TV in the United Kingdom. Early Career 2003-2008 After becoming proficient in swimming and tennis, Aldous began bodybuilding which ultimately led to his training to be a professional wrestler. After beginning his training at the age of 16, he made his professional debut in 2005, where he competed against Doug Williams in a highly contested two out of three falls match, which Aldous lost two falls to one. Early title matches included a Dam Promotions event, where he teamed up with Bash to take on the Dam Tag Team Champions Big Dave and The Bulk for the titles and he also went up against Ash for the LDN Championship at Summit Wrestling. He would lose both matches. In 2007 he would face the WAW British heavyweight champion Brett Meadows for the title and lost. His last match before joining Total Nonstop Action Wrestling was a win against Marty Skrull. During his time in England he wrestled primarily at joint promotions All-Star Wrestling and World Association of Wrestling. Early Feuds 2008-2009 In November 2008 Aldis signed with Total Nonstop Action Wrestling. On the 11th of December 2008 episode of Impact TNA started airing vignettes of Aldous' debut under the name Brutus Magnus, a modern-day gladiator. Aldous competed under his Brutus Magnus name and gimmick at the TNA Maximum Impact tour in Glasgow, Scotland on of January 2009, where he defeated Matt Morgan. Two days later on the last night of the tour, Magnus defeated Sheikh Abdul Bashir in London at the Wembley Arena. On 29 January episode of Impact, another vignette of Magnus was played, and it stated that Magnus's debut would occur next week. He debuted on the 5th of February episode of Impact, as a villainous character defeating Shark Boy. With his finishing move the Tormentum, after the match he issued an open challenge, to anyone on the TNA roster. Chris Saburn answered the open challenge at Against All Odds, which Magnus also won. This continued with another victory against Eric Young at Destination X. The British Invasion 2009-2011 On 30 April 2009 episode of Impact, Magnus dropped the Gladiator character and formed a villainous group called the British Invasion, with fellow British wrestlers Douglas Williams and Rob Terry. In their debut matches a team, Williams and Magnus defeated Homicide in a two-on-one handicap match after assaulting his tag team partner, Hernandez backstage prior to the match and stealing his feastified briefcase. The Invasion has since formed an alliance called World Elite with Eric Young, Sheikh Abdul Bashir and Kiyoshi, and engaged in a feud with Team 3D over the IWGP Tag Team Championship. On 30 July episode of Impact, Magnus and Williams won the IWGP Tag Team Championship by defeating Team 3D in a tables match. However, New Japan Pro Wrestling later stated that as the title change did not occur, with the sanction of the promotion they still recognized Team 3D as the official champions. On 10 August 2009 NJPW formally recognized the title switch 
at Bound. For Glory the British Invasion lost the IWGP Tag Team titles back to Team 3D but managed to win the TNA World Tag Team Championship in a four-way Full Metal Mayhem Tag Team match against Booker T and Scott Steiner, Team 3D and Beer Money Inc. The following month, at Turning Point Magnus and Williams successfully defended the title in a three-way match against Beer Money and the Motor City Machine Guns. At final resolution they were once again able to retain their title in a match against Shelley and Saban. At Genesis the British Invasion lost the TNA World Tag Team titles to Matt Morgan and Hernandez. Afterwards Magnus and Williams began abusing Terry and blaming him for the losses. On the 18th of February 2010 episode of Impact, Terry finally grew tired of this and attacked Magnus, thus ending his alliance with the British Invasion and completing his face turn. At Destination X 2010 Magnus announced that from now on he would be known only by the name Magnus. He then went on to lose to his former mate and wrestling partner Rob Terry in a match for the Global Championship. After not being seen for over three months, Magnus returned on 14 June at the tapings of Explosion defeating Suicide and afterward challenging Rob Terry to a rematch for the Global Championship. The rematch took place at the 29th of June tapings of Explosion, with Terry retaining his Global Championship. On the 3rd of July 2010, Dixie Carter announced that Aldous had signed a new long-term contract with TNA. On the edition of the 14th of July 2010 of TNA Today, Aldous debuted a new ladies' man gimmick. He then went on to form a tag team with Desmond Wolf, with the two of them defeating Amazing Red and Suicide in their first match together at the 13th of July tapings of Explosion. At the 26th and the 27th of July tapings of Explosion Magnus and Wolf defeated the teams of Hernandez and Rob Terry and in Kink in a four-tag team tournament to earn the right to challenge for the TNA World Tag Team Championship. On the 26th of August episode of Impact, the tag team of Magnus and Wolf was named London Brawling. They were scheduled to receive their shot at the Motor City Machine Guns and the TNA World Tag Team Championship at No Surrender but were at the last minute pulled from the event with TNA citing a personal issue as the reason. It was later reported that Wolf had been sidelined due to an undisclosed medical situation. Magnus returned to working live events on the 30th of September. On the 16th of December, Magnus made his first appearance on Impact in three months, when he met his former tag team partner Douglas Williams and informed him that Wolf was close to a comeback. On the 30th of December episode of Impact, Magnus offered to team up with Williams in a tag team match where they were defeated by Fortune members AJ Styles and Rob Terry. Magnus reappeared as a heel on 24 February the 2011 episode of Impact, in a match where he was defeated by Crimson. On 31 March episode of Impact, Magnus and Douglas Williams officially reformed the British Invasion once again as a heel group by attacking the team of Eric Young and Orlando Jordan. In their first match back together Magnus and Williams were defeated by Ink Inc. on 12 April on Explosion. On 17 April at Lockdown Magnus and Williams were defeated again by Ink Inc. in a four-tag team number one contender steel cage match, despite not having won a match. Since their reformation, the British Invasion received a TNA World Tag Team Championship match at Slammiversary IX which they lost to James Storm and Alex Shelley. On 30 June Magnus and Williams turned face by responding to Mexican America's bad remarks by praising the United States. They were then attacked until Rob Terry returned to save them effectively adding him back to the group. 
On the 14th of July episode of Impact Wrestling, Mexican America's Anarquia and Hernandez defeated Magnus and Williams in a TNA World Tag Team Championship number one contenders match. Following outside interference from their stablemate Rosita, at the 9th of August, tapings of Explosion, Magnus defeated Alex Shelley in the finals of a 16-man Explosion Championship challenge tournament to earn the right to challenge for the title of his choosing. Teaming and feuding with Samoa Joe, 2011-2012. In December 2011 Magnus began teaming up with Samoa Joe to take part in the Wild Card Tournament. On 5 January 2012 episode of Impact Wrestling Magnus and Samoa Joe defeated AJ Styles and Kazarian to win the four-week-long wild card tournament and become the number one contenders to the TNA World Tag Team Championship. Three days later at Genesis Magnus and Joe failed to capture the TNA World Tag Team Championship from Crimson and Matt Morgan. Despite the loss, Magnus and Joe remained together as a tag team attacking Crimson and Morgan on the next two episodes of Impact Wrestling. On 2 February Magnus and Joe defeated Crimson and Morgan in a non-title match to earn another shot at the TNA World Tag Team Championship and at Against All Odds Magnus and Joe defeated Crimson and Morgan to win the TNA World Tag Team Championship. Magnus and Joe then defeated Crimson and Morgan in two rematches in February and March in Mexican America in March to retain the championship. On 15 April at lockdown Magnus and Joe defeated the Motor City Machine Guns in a steel cage match to retain the TNA World Tag Team Championship. During the first open fight night on 26 April, Magnus and Joe successfully defended the TNA World Tag Team Championship against the team of Jeff Hardy and Mr. Anderson after which they were attacked by Christopher Daniels and Kazarian who had asked for a title shot earlier in the event. On 13 May at Sacrifice Magnus and Joe lost the TNA World Tag Team Championship to Daniels and Kazarian. On 14 June episode of Impact Wrestling Magnus entered the 2012 Bound for Glory series taking part in the opening gauntlet match from which he was eliminated by Samoa Joe. Magnus's participation in the tournament ended on the 16th of August episode of Impact Wrestling, when he was defeated by Joe in a singles match leaving him outside a spot in the semi-finals. On the 14th of October at Bound for Glory Magnus unsuccessfully challenged Joe for his TNA Television Championship. The new main event Mafia 2012-2013 On the 1st of November episode of Impact Wrestling Magnus challenged Joe to a rematch as part of the open fight night however he lost the match via disqualification after hitting Joe with a wrench. The rivalry culminated in a no disqualification match on the 11th of November at Turning Point where Magnus was again unsuccessful in winning the title. On the following episode of Impact Wrestling Magnus was sidelined, with a storyline injury after he was ambushed by the Aces. With a ball-peen hammer, Magnus returned as a face on 31 January the 2013 episode of Impact Wrestling in Manchester, England, interrupting and attacking bad influence who were insulting the country. Afterwards, Magnus wrestled his return match, defeating TNA television champion Devon in a non-title match via disqualification after interference from the Aces. James Storm, Samoa Joe and Sting defeated Aces, Nux and Mr. Anderson Indiana a lethal lockdown match. On the 21st of March episode of Impact Wrestling, Magnus was defeated by Jeff Hardy in a four-way number one contenders match for the World Heavyweight Championship which also included Kurt Angle and Samoa Joe. 
On the 18th of April episode of Impact Wrestling Magnus was scheduled to face Devon for his television championship, however was attacked by Doc and Nux before the match could start. Magnus returned on the 9th of May episode of Impact Wrestling, defeating Doc after an inadvertent distraction from DLO Brown. Later that night, Magnus was again attacked by the Aces and Samoa Joe in a winning effort against Aces. Magnus defeated Kenny King, Matt Morgan and Rob Terry in a four-way match to qualify for the 2013 Bound for Glory series. The following week, Magnus defeated Kazarian in his first Bound for Glory series match via submission to earn 10 points and take an early lead in the tournament. On the 4th of July episode of Impact Wrestling, Magnus was named the fourth member of the newly reformed main event Mafia along with Kurt Angle, Sting and former tag team partner and rival Samoa Joe. On the 12th of September episode of Impact Wrestling, Magnus defeated Rude in a Bound for Glory series Final Four match to advance before ultimately losing to AJ Styles in the finals. After the Bound, for Glory series Magnus began a feud with Bad Influence who assaulted him during the finals and first challenged them to a six-man tag team match against himself Sting and Samoa Joe prior to the match Bad Influence incapacitated Magnus and injured his knee but Sting and Joe emerged victorious. In the aftermath Magnus announced he was going to take on all three members of Bad Influence himself in a gauntlet match. During the gauntlet, Magnus defeated Kazarian and Christopher Daniels but was defeated by Bobby Roode, who took advantage of his injured knee and made him submit. After the match Magnus began venting his frustrations around the ring before Sting came out to calm him down which culminated in Sting offering Magnus a match against him at Bound for Glory which Magnus accepted. Magnus defeated Sting at Bound for Glory after Sting tapped out to the King's Lynn Cloverleaf. TNA World Heavyweight Champion 2013-2014 On 21 November 2013 episode of Impact Wrestling Magnus was entered into a tournament to crown a new TNA World Heavyweight Champion after the title was vacated. He defeated Samoa Joe in a Falls Count Anywhere match at Turning Point and Kurt Angle on Impact Wrestling to advance to the finals. He defeated Jeff Hardy in a Dixieland match to become the new TNA World Heavyweight Champion on 3 December. The match aired on 19 December on Impact Wrestling. Final resolution. In the process turned heel he joined Team Dixie allying himself with Dixie Carter Rockstar Spud and Ethan Carter III. Styles returned on the edition of 2 January 2014 of Impact Wrestling still claiming to be the legitimate champion as he was never defeated for the title. He then lost to Magnus Jew, to TNA President Dixie Carter directing a heavy amount of interference against Styles making Magnus undisputed champion. Samoa Joe then stepped up to challenge Magnus labeling him a paper champion. On 9 January 2014 episode of Impact Wrestling Magnus defeated AJ Styles in a no disqualification title unification match after Styles had returned to TNA with his own TNA World Heavyweight Championship. Styles left TNA after the match. The next week, Magnus defeated Sting in a no-disqualification title match to end Sting's TNA career. On the edition of 30 January of Impact Wrestling Samoa Joe and Kurt Angle defeated Magnus and Ethan Carter III in a stipulated tag match. In the match Joe forced Magnus to tap out, and as a result of the stipulation put in place he would receive a shot at the world title. On 2 March Magnus successfully defended the TNA World Heavyweight Championship in Tokyo, Japan, defeating Kai at Wrestle 1's Kaizen Outbreak Event.
At lockdown Magnus defended his TNA World Heavyweight Championship against Samoa Joe. On 3 April, Magnus successfully defended his TNA World Heavyweight Championship against Samoa Joe Eric Young and Abyss. On 8 April part of TNA Impact 365, Director of Wrestling Operations MVP announced a 10-man gauntlet match that took place on the 10th of April. Episode of Impact Wrestling where the winner receives a future TNA World Heavyweight title shot. At Sacrifice, the match would later be won by Eric Young who requested to have his shot. At the same night where he went to defeat the champion Magnus, Magnus will invoke his rematch clause at Sacrifice and wrestle Young for the title. Final Storylines 2014-2015 Shortly after his loss to Eric Young Magnus began a losing streak. After losing out on a number one contender's spot for the championship Magnus was met in a backstage segment by his childhood friend and fellow Brit Bram who began to chastise him claiming he had gone soft. Over the next several weeks Magnus began showing signs of a face turn, when Bram would throw weapons into the ring and encourage him to let out a more intense side. But Magnus would refuse. More signs began to show from Magnus, when he first attacked Bram in a backstage segment and then when Magnus saved T. Gruno from an assault from Bram the following week. On the edition of the 5th of June of Impact Wrestling, it looked as though Magnus would finalize his face turn and save Willow from Bram, but would in fact remain heel and attack Willow himself with a steel pry bar. Since developing a more violent persona Magnus and Bram began a rivalry with Willow and the returning abyss. Magnus defeated Willow on 15 June 2014 at Slammiversary 12. On 26 June 2014 episode of Impact Wrestling Magnus and Bram defeated Willow and Abyss in a tag team Monsters Ball match. On 20 August 2014 at Hardcore Justice, Magnus was a participant in a six sides of steel match to determine a number one contender. For the TNA World Heavyweight Championship the match was ultimately won by Eric Young and Bobby Roode. On 23 January 2015 episode of Impact Wrestling Magnus competed in the Feast or Fired match grabbing the final case which contained a TNA World Tag Team Championship title. Opportunity in which Bram claimed to have been the one to obtain it for himself. But the chance was stolen from Magnus. On 30 January episode of Impact Wrestling Magnus tried to reconcile with Bram in a bar but after leaving the bar he was then viciously attacked by Bram. This act turned Magnus' face once again. The following week Mickey James returned to TNA to confront Bram who threatened Mickey in return. The week after Magnus returned and attack Bram in retaliation for threatening Mickey. This would lead to a match between the two which Magnus won by disqualification after Magnus was strapped to the ropes after which Mickey ran down to the ring and was grabbed by Bram who forced Magnus to kiss his boot to which he obliged. Magnus would get redemption and attack Bram backstage. This would lead to a no disqualification match between the two which Magnus won to end the feud. Magnus would enter into a storyline with James Storm who intervened in his final match with Bram by saving Mickey James from being attacked. On the edition of the 24th of April of Impact Wrestling Magnus and Mickey James both came down to the ring to announce Mickey's retirement from professional wrestling to focus on raising their son but were interrupted by Storm who managed to convince her not to. Magnus was later approached backstage by Davy Richards who warned Magnus not to trust Storm, after which Magnus asked a member of the camera crew to follow Mickey around to keep an eye on her. After consulting the footage the crew gathered Magnus confronted Storm and warned him to stay out of his and Mickey's business.
The following week the two would have another confrontation where Storm would push Magnus too far and provoked him to attack Storm with a guitar officially igniting their feud. The following week Magnus called out Storm for a fight to instead be met by former rival and Storm's revolution teammate Abyss and eventually the rest of the revolution members Manic and Koya. At Slammiversary 13 Magnus faced James Storm in a losing effort. On the 29th of July episode of Impact Wrestling Magnus and Mickey James defeated James Storm and Serena in a mixed tag match. Pro Wrestling Noah, 2012 On the 22nd of July 2012 Magnus made his debut for the Japanese Pro Wrestling Noah promotion when he and Samoa Joe defeated Akitoshi Saito and John Akiyama to win the GHC Tag Team Championship. On 8 October Magnus and Joe lost the title to Kanta and Maybach Taniguchi in their first defense. Global Force Wrestling 2015-2017 on June 29, 2015 it was announced that Aldous had signed with Global Force Wrestling and will compete under his real name. On 9 July 2015 Aldous made his in-ring debut defeating Tommaso Ciampa as part of the inaugural GFW Grand Slam Tour. On July 24, 2015 Aldous entered into a tournament to crown the inaugural GFW Global Champion, defeating Congo Kong in the quarterfinals of the tournament. On September 5, 2015 Aldous defeated Chris Mordetsky in the semi-finals to advance to the finals of the tournament. On October 23 at the GFW AM taping Aldous defeated Bobby Roode in the finals of the tournament to become the first ever GFW Global Champion. On October 28, 2015 Aldous and Doug Williams were united as the British Invasion as part of Global Force Wrestling's GFW UK Invasion Tour defeating Marty Skrull and Rampage Brown. He lost to the title on April 22, 2017, to Alberto L. Patron. Return to Impact Wrestling, Global Force Wrestling, 2017 Following Jeff Jarrett's hiring as Impact Wrestling's executive consultant in January 2017, and promotion to executive producer and chief creative officer status a month later, by its new owners Anthem Sports, and championships started being featured on Impact Television. Aldous returned on Impact's April 6 episode under the Magnus name as a face helping to save Matt Morgan from a four-on-one attack by Team Josh Matthews beating down Bram and in the process being revealed as Team Jeremy Borash's fourth member joining Chris Adonis Morgan and Alberto L. Patron that would battle the aforementioned foursome. The two sides squared off on the following episode, with Magnus getting the pinfall victory on Bram over the next two TV airings. During backstage segments Magnus exhibited heel-type arrogance by verbally putting himself over, berating other wrestlers especially El Patron and proclaiming himself number one contender for the Impact World Heavyweight Championship. On the May 4, 2017 episode of Impact Wrestling Magnus successfully defended the GFW Global Championship against Matt. Morgan following a low blow and Michinoku driver. On the May 11th episode, Magnus lost the GFW Global Championship to El Patron via submission to the cross arm breaker. Magnus then acted as guest commentator during a match between Ethan Carter III and James Storm the following week, and got involved himself in the post match melee between the two wrestlers beating and leaving Storm laying by the ring steps then entering the ring to argue with Carter. Consequently, Impact Authority figure Bruce Pritchard booked the three rivals in a triple threat match for an opportunity at the Impact World Heavyweight Championship. This match took place on Impact's May 25th edition where EC3 scored the pinfall on Magnus. 
The Wrestling Observer Newsletter reported on July 20 that Aldous rejected a contract offer from Anthem who had purchased and merged Jarrett's promotion with Impact Wrestling, renaming the company GFW on April 20, and that he only worked April's Impact tapings on a handshake deal to protect the lineage of the GFW Global Championship by transitioning it to El Patron. On the July 26 edition of sports writer Chris Featherstone's Pancakes and Power Slams podcast, Aldous cited the lack of financial compensation and creative challenge GFW would offer him as his reasons for not signing. He added, It's not a contract that anyone with any value, any sense of self-value, or self-worth would sign. There's no point in signing a contract to make you exclusive to one place if you're not getting anything in return. He said he was willing to continue working for the company as an independent contractor on handshake agreements but was rebuffed. Independent Circuit, 2017 Present on May 20, 2017 Aldous made his first post-GFW appearance for WFW losing to Tommy Dreamer. On August 11 and 12 Aldous wrestled for House of Hardcore losing on the first night to Jeff Cobb and winning on the second night by defeating Bull James. On July 28, 2017 Aldous appeared at Fight Factory in Gainsborough. England in a no-holds-barred match against the promotions Kip Sabian. Personal Life Aldous and fellow wrestler Mickey James welcomed their first child, a boy named Donovan Patrick Aldous on 25 September 2014. Aldous and James were married on 31 December 2015. Championships and Accomplishments 1. GFW co-founders Jeff and Karen Jarrett invoked Magnus's briefcase because he was part of their roster and gave his title match to Brian Myers and Trevor Lee. Brought to you by Wikivd.com Would you like to know more?